So here's the first iteration of my off-the-grid shed system. It's 85 amp hour battery pack with a desulfator built in, so it's reviving the batteries and, and it'll maintain the batteries too. But I still gotta work on some things though, so there's gonna be plenty of updates. Here's how I built it. So I finally have enough batteries to build a battery bank for my shed. And this is the shed that I'll be putting the battery bank into. As you can tell, it really could use some electrical lighting in here. And I've cleared off a nice, nicely sized shelf to put batteries on. And I have a bakery tray to catch any acid that might spill. So that'd be nice. So the main goals of my battery system will be to maintain the voltage of, of all my batteries. And also, I'll have a desulfator on them, so it'll be desulfating my batteries, and I won't have to worry about forgetting to charge them and they die. And also, the, the secondary goal of this is to light up my shed, which should be pretty easy. And so the main battery bank will be 85 amp hours. This is 60, uh, 60 amp hours in this big truck battery. Then I have 7, 9, and 9. And I have them desulfating out with this uh, battery desulfator. And, and uh, this, ba this battery has, uh, has been coming up in voltage, and I'm hoping that this battery, since it's about three years old, when I connect it to it, it'll bring it up too, even though this one's a lot higher voltage than those. Let's see what the voltage is on this one. 12.79 volts. And then over here, we have these ones sitting at 12.5 four volts. So there's definitely room for improvement, but the desulfator will make sure that it improves. To charge the batteries, I have this small four watt solar panel, which should be enough just to mm, help keep the batteries, uh, the battery voltages up. But over here we have our two m ways to use the power. We have a 600 watt power inverter, just on the off chance if I want to run something like a fan. And then I will build a light using a 10 watt LED. I'll be running the LED in series with a resistor. And I found, I, I, do, I was rummaging through all my junk and found a, uh, a heat sink. And I'll use that to cool the LED. So first off, I'm going to move the batteries into the shed and put them on that bakery tray. And now we will put the solar panel on the roof. And we have the cable, we can bring that into the shed. But before we do anything else, let's uh, work on the LED lights so we can see what we're doing in here. So now let's build the 10 watt LED system. Now this LED takes, as you would guess, 10 watts at 12 volts. But the thing is though, I don't really have any heat sinks that would be that would be good enough to cool it when it was making that when it was generating that much heat. So I'm going to run it through a 10 ohm resistor. I just got picked up two of these at Radio Shack real quick. And what this will do is it'll only let about 4 watts of electricity go through. So it won't get extremely hot. So let's connect my LED to the universal power supply with the resistor in series with it. It should be pretty bright because even 4 watts on an LED is quite bright. Bring the voltage up. And now that's getting a little warm to the touch. So let's put the heat sink onto it. Then we will put this on here, and I'll just figure out a way to get both screws under here. And there we have a heat sink connected to the LED. Well, it's, it's kind of th uh, slapped together, but oh well. While my soldering iron is heating up, 
I'm going to figure out the wiring system for this. I have two small off cuttings of wire and I've decided I'll just cut one, uh, one of these little alligator clip jumpers in half and use that for the ending wire so it has little alligator clips on the end. So I got all the wires connected up. They're just twisted around each other. And now it's time to solder all the joints. This is all done, and let's take it out to the shed and illuminate the shed, or at least try. Okay, so I just have this light facing right here. It's pointing down. And we, we're we only running off this battery right now. It's running 12.76 volts. Now let's connect. Oh, and FYI, the light you're seeing is from my caving helmet. There we go. The voltage steadily goes down, but I'll turn off my helmet. That's not a bad amount of light right there. Of course, I'll have to reconfigure it a lot nicer. I, uh, it's, it's in a bad position, but oh well. Now, let's take that off. And actually connect both battery packs together. So we have negative and positive and this should bring the whole battery voltage down just want to make sure I don't short circuit it yeah now electricity is flowing from that battery into those batteries to charge them because they are still a little bit sulfated now if we bring the light back on it'll bring the voltage down even lower but still it's very good so basically what I've built today isn't exactly an off-the-grid system yet. It's only a battery bank that is self-sustaining and self-recovering because the uh, desulfator will slowly rejuvenate these batteries even more. And now once these batteries are fully rejuvenated, I can then start adding more batteries. Like I could take this one and I could connect it in, in, par in uh, parallel with all these also and that desulfator would not uh, would maintain the batteries that are already already nice and then it would uh, start to uh, uh, revive the dead battery now the solar panel itself will only provide up to three watts of power and I imagine that desulfator would take two or three watts and this lamp itself is four watts so for the time being until I get a windmill or my bigger solar panel array built because I do have solar panels I just have to solder them together uh, in the meantime I'll come out here every few days and charge it with my charger I'll just bring out, a, out an extension cord but whenever I get a, a power source uh, powering this with over 40 watts per hour then I would actually run a cable from in here to my bedroom in the house to run my computer which would be kind of interesting so this shed would, would act kind of like a uh, power substation. And the thing is, I think I could get maybe 12 more truck batteries. So I, I could get 12 more truck batteries for free. Um, somewhat old, but still, that'd be a one hell of a, of, of a battery backup system. So the next thing I got to do is build a good source of energy, whether it be a solar, power, uh, solar panel or a vertical axis windmill made out of 55-gallon oil drums. But either way, thanks for watching, and I hope you learned something. See you later.